Today I take my journey to New Lands, a game called Enshrouded. With a map full of corruption, my plan was to search for all the NPCs that would allow me to continue my story, clearing out different elixir wells that were infected across Emberville while having some really intense boss fights. I would go on to claiming new equipment that would turn me into a fully fledged Archmage. The entire playthrough was streamed on my other channel, Ray of Pandas Live. Links will be in the description for those who want to join. But without further ado, I spent 100 days in Enshrouded and here's what happened. Like any other game, I had to quickly create my character with some basic customizations, choosing the best name I could for the server and then forced to watch a cutscene that went more into the depth of the game. As this big shiny pot opened up, this was me. I was him. My initial thoughts to the game couldn't have been better though. You know, I'd like to go claim a, a spot for my base, but you're not. Yo, there's nothing in front of me. What? I just want to get outside. Can I get outside? I think I gotta break something. It's clearly something there. I don't know what it is. This game was large in scale and had plenty of notes scattered across the world. These would in turn act as side quests that gave great experience early on. For now, it was all about venturing forward into the darkness, a torch lighting my path ahead while in this cave and beating up some baddies however I could. I don't, oh, that's a person. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Effective. My first real steps into the actual game and I made it to my first location, the long keep. <gasps> Reach level two? Wait, I'm level two? Over what? I just punched something. You see? Hey, look at that, level two. It's me. Looking at all the skills I could learn and how helpful they would be moving forward. Between all the different items to resources I found inside this keep, my focus was building a flame altar. You're not alone. There are other survivors. Wait, nearby ancient vaults? Find them so they may aid you in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby. Just outside of the shout, shrouds gas. Gathering a few resources close by gave me exactly what I needed for this hammer. Having the altar built, a nice workbench to go along with it, and then learning the basics of building. The building's actually really cool. I love the look of it. It's super fleshed out. Oh, those are roofs. Terrain. Okay, we have a 15 minute rested boof. I like it already. Being super comfy the next day, I also had my first kill of the day. Seeing the shroud right around the corner and feeling so unsure if I would survive, I turned back around and looked for another way of cross. What I really needed now was a glider, but more importantly, a grappling hook. For the time being, I made myself some cloth armor, building myself some storage to store stuff away, and then running outside with a wand in hand. Stay on the path, lest the shrouds, wait, what? Lest the shrouds take you salvation lies straight ahead, okay. As I made it through the shroud alive, I was given the task of clearing out a camp and saving the sleeping survivor. Oh, that was explosives. What is this? It didn't look like explosive. I still needed to save the survivor, but finding my way back into the shrouds, I found myself a little lost here. I go into the Brailin Breach. Oh, this is spooky. Look at this stuff. Oh my god. Can I, ooh. Proud look. Hello. Wait, where am I? What? Oh, I'm over here. Alright. I mean, we're here. Addicts. Okay. Wait a, wait a minute. But I think long term, Enshrouded might overtake it? I don't know. We'll see. But uh, what the? F I did. How was I? Okay. Sure, yeah, explosive, explosive. Most of my deaths definitely could have been avoided, but I just had so much fun with all the dumb stuff that happened. This camp also had way too many explosives. <laughs> I love the explosions in this game because it actually makes like this realistic hole. It just, oh. <laughs> I love it. What if we just use explosives to like get our way in? I mean, the door is still standing, but look at that. It actually works. It literally works. You can't lock, you can't lock pick. Okay, so a lock pick door is forever just like indestructible, but. Oh, I was hoping I could like bring the entire house down. <laughs> oh, that would have been so good. Oh God, I would have loved it. Look at that. I don't need a way in. I don't need lock picks. Get out of here. What? Seeing that I was ready, this is where I would try to wake the sleeping beauty. Oh, Oswald Anders, the blacksmith summoning staff. What? Let's test out the grappling hook first. This is going to be cool. <laughs> yes, it is cool. Oh, I love that. 
Woo! <laughs> it's so good. Look at those traps. On top of all those goodies, I now had enough resources to start a charcoal kiln and get some charcoal made. By the end of the night, I started to look more like an Eskimo. With more space needed the next day, I started adding onto my existing house, giving myself more room for later use. Not only that, but with this new item crafted up, it gave me flying squirrel-like abilities. So we don't even need to go over there. We can just grapple on down. Ooh, dude, I feel like Spider-Man. What? It's not a glider. This is like, I'm Spider-Man. Look at me, guys. Oh, that's so sick. What? Yo, we need more of that. With a new area full of shroud, this place was about to teach me the true meaning of pain. Okay. Um, ooh, not sure that was a great moment to use the lock-on system. That was garbage. Death after death, I finally made it deeper into something called an elixir well. Locations filled with different creatures to organic shrubbery, all in the name of clearing out the corruption. Hi, hi, ho, oh, hey, oh, big bye. This is a boss fight. Oh my god, look at you, ow. Oh, oh damn, that was sad. That, that actually startled me. Okay, I need some stamina. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, I thought I died. Where am I? Go back. Oh, oh god, oh god. Kill him first. Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. Oh, B, 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 the shroud root is the source of our misery. Destroy it with a felling axe and prosper. I want to prosper. Prospering! Oh, cool! So everything is like a corruption and you have to clear it. I kind of like that. Look how pretty this is. Oh my god, this looks amazing. With my next focus in sight, I was headed towards a big tower. These acted as easy fast travel points throughout the game. You'd run up to some red centerpiece, travel the tower upwards as you collected resources, solving puzzles, and tried your best not to die. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's another flame thing. Immune with the flame. Uh, sure. These points open fast travel points all over the world, reveal ancient knowledge of Embervale. Venture forth. Okay, so it's a big... Wait. New location charted, nine markers added. Searching for the hidden tombs. Ooh, I like hidden tombs. My favorite part about these towers, though, was jumping off and becoming a flying squirrel. Oh, what joys. The wind through my hair, the grounds below. Just look at it. I found myself inside this comfy and homey little village. It was filled to the brim with items and resources I actually needed. Ooh, secret. There's a secret secret. I like my secrets. Open secret door, please. Yeah. Ooh, chest. Oh. Ooh, okay. Let me get out of here. I may have also found the biggest fiber find in the game. Running out of fiber early on became the norm, and this would actually bring in the big bucks. While finishing up my search in this location, I found myself looking for yet another slumbering beauty. A new camp, and this one looking real mean. Ooh, they're like grenadier stuff. Dang. Suspicion? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, I panicked. I got a little scared. That was scary. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oh, I thought someone was running behind me. Oh my god. Oh, I can't be here. That's the red one. Oh god damn it. That sucks. I actually can't do that. I also loved my dark holes. Yup. I said it. Having plenty to explore outside, I was curious to see what was near my base. This Lord of the Rings looking entrance was shut close, but still gave me the goosies than ever before. If the door wasn't opening anytime soon, then the shroud would have to deal with my shenanigans. All right, let's uh, get a little healing going again. Oh, <gasps> another staff? Ooh, this one's different though. Um, I mean, obviously it's, wait, was it legendary or was it? No, 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 it was epic. Okay, so 
Increases critical. We have plus two poison with it. Spiritual increases mana regen by one. Ooh, that's actually really nice. We lose a bit of power, but for the extra stats, that's kind of worth it. The biggest thing about this game was clearing corruption. That and upgrading your flame level so new areas would be opened up. The blue shroud was safe, whereas the red shroud would kill you in seconds. What did have me a little stumped here for a bit was trying to figure out what to add to my base. Building was a big part of this game, but I had zero motivation to build right now. Again, I mined as much stone as my pick would allow me and tried playing around with different stone builds. Pillars, a stone foundation, anything that would spark something. For now, I had to leave this for another day. To Today had me back at the village, exploring a super cool dungeon in Woodguard. There's switch, a lever, lever, pull the lever, cronk. Ooh. Hunter's bow. Ooh, I will take that. Hey, it opened. Oh, that's not good. Goodbye. Level four. Oh, right. I forgot we need stamina. Oh, my God. Oh, huh. It's dark. It's real dark. I was jumping off yet another tower and gliding my way towards another location on the map. Spooky. I hear spooky. I want spooky. How spooky are we? Oh, spiders. We're really spooky. Oh, multiple spiders. Oh, multiple spiders. Oh. As scared as I was, if I was getting through this, I had to face my fears. This is a... Oh, ooh, secret door. Secret chest. Oh, I love this game. Dude, the secrets just keep coming. And then you got spiders. Friggin'. Oh, my God. It, mm, uh, I hate spiders. Is there going to be a big spider that drops down? Oh, boy. Something else I fell into was more shrouds, looking for another elixir well, apparently. Wow, we are gonna die today. Okay, that's a lot of bugs. Oh, bandage, do, wait, oh yeah, you're smart. I have bandages, I forgot about those. Oh, right, I thought there was a hole. Yeah, you gotta watch the hole. If you go into the wrong hole, whoo boy, it's not gonna go well. I just break that, I guess. Oh shit. Oh, sh 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 I keep pressing Alt for the wrong one. Yeah, that's right. Now I can see. Holy crap, look at this. You can see it all. See every last thing. <laughs> While searching for more points of interest on the map, the next one had me traveling to this little house on a hill. Finding my way into another little dungeon and, yay, facing more fears? Obviously, I was too pro and got through this like a champ. Poison ones are nasty. Apparently, I do not like Sam I am. Can I wear another one? Feeling close enough to the alchemist once more, I had to try my hand at this again. There was no way I was going back home without getting the alchemist. Alchemist apprentice gloves at alchemist plus 20 more. With a new addition to the team, this would be the most important person to my build. Not only that, to my upgrades of equipment, armor, all that stuff. All the good stuff, okay? Ooh, you could even craft fireballs. Bone meal. Ooh, that's a tough one. Ooh, alchemist apprentice set. <gasps> yes! Okay. As you could see here, I was in build mode, and this wooden house of a place was about to have an upgrade. Having a foundation built in all of the woods place and then stone walls filling in the actual place. Nighttime was here a lot sooner than I thought. With a few more resources collected, this place was absolutely coming together. Stone was more my style and it actually fit like a charm. For the roof, however, I was about to need a lot more wood than I thought. The builds were super fast and very satisfying, but man, the numbers were big. This is what it slowly started looking like. If not for this alchemist, I wouldn't have looked so cool. While I did make a mistake with this altar placement, it did have its pros. So with another teleport across the map, I found myself at a new ancient vault. Woo! Woo! Sorry, I just <laughs> I didn't want to go straight for it. Not waiting. Uh-uh, I gotta hit that button. Um, hi. <laughs> hey, what's up? 
think. Yep, the person's in here. I have awoken the next. Oh, oh that's the hunter. Why do you look different? Okay. Oh. Surviving together, finding salt. And what do you allow me to? Arrows, drying rack. Ooh. So close to finishing up my roof, I felt the need to take a little break. I also had this great idea of manually marking things that were already completed. With so many icons on the map, I needed some way to tell if I finished each location or not. Having upgraded my flame to the next level, this would be the best time to go back out into the world and locate another fast travel tower. We could finally go into these lands. This was all red last time. Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, right. Okay. You're <gasps> going like those things. Oh my god. Shepherd. Ooh. That is so much better. Just immediately. 17 power level and that one's maxed out here as i finished the story of rot this bridge would be the only thing between me and the tower i hope i can get to this one it looks like i can just gotta stay with the mountain little hill or okay hold on there we go Ooh, is this bad yep 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 okay you just ate all of my oh god <gasps> oh, we cheated that. Oh, I just cheated death there. Oh, my God. Oh, that was scary. We have another fast travel point here. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Yeah, buddy. There we go. With more progress made in the game, my base needed a little more love, too. Having just a few more sleeping beauties to go, the one NPC I needed would give me quite a few important workbenches to build from. Oh, you're totally in here. Yeah, the scrappy dappy do. Open sesame. Cade Hawthorne the Carpenter. <laughs> there you go. There you go, man. Look at you. The man, the myth, the legend. What I didn't realize at the time was the small magic chests I would be able to build. These would actually become the salvation I needed for my crafting brain. The idea now was to clear as many side quests to elixir wells as I could. Some of them were super easy to find and others left me so confused. Oh, what's your goal for today? Uh, get further into the game. Further into the game. Also get more levels, so I can start getting more points into my skills stuff. I need to level up my magic a lot more. Is there anyone here? There's no one protecting this. Alright. I'm gonna kill it. Easy. Alright, got another skill point. What the heck? Really? Progress still needed to be made, but this would take me to Ferndale. This place seems lively. Oh, there's bad people here. That's why. Hello, sir. Hello. They're level seven and I'm still killing them. But they're giving me metal scraps. so oh, this is pretty good. Whoa. Well, I dodged that one. I didn't dodge that one. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Um, oh shoot, sorry, sorry, wrong. Wait, how do I do this? Ah. <laughs> yeah! Got the big boy staff out now. Ooh, holy crap! Yo, I crit a 168? Oh, dang. Like, normally my damage, as you see, is uh, 25? With just a single sleeping beauty left to rescue, I was that much closer to getting everyone I needed. This new location I would visit was above more shrouds. I know my secret doors now. <laughs> hey. Crackling wand. Whoa, damn, hold on. That's actually really good. You see the damage on that? It's not even maxed out. We've gotten the next one. Emily, Frey the farmer. And now I have them all. Bam. I gotta say, I was a huge fan of these secret chambers. This game had loads of them, and man oh man, was it filling a hole. Using magic in the game was by far the best. It had the damage, and because attack stamina was unlimited, I could use it forever. If there was one place I wanted to explore next, it was this gate blocking what seemed to be a new area. Many of these big gates existed and stopped me from exploring. I don't know if they were actually a part of the game, or just because it was early access. 
Taking another leap of faith here, I was ready to do some serious exploring. My goal was to find all towers available and try to unlock them all. I also found some time for the newest addition to my team. You're doing it, Flameborn. You're healing the Springlands. No, I'm not. You don't even know it. This game doesn't even know what's happening. Come on, really? If I wanted to progress more of the story and start unlocking more workbenches, the next one had me doing something so unexpected. Am I gonna die here? This looks intense. Vuka bra. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fudge? Got a big belly there, buddy. Oh! I think that's where I need the potions. What the fudge, yo. Oh my god. How do you keep hitting me like that? Oh, like that, okay. Apparently, with this last jump the brawler did to me, it got itself stuck somehow. Okay, I see your health. Oh, you know what? This guy probably spawned underneath. Or maybe... Did you run over here? I think the person or whatever that thing is is underneath the map. I think that's what happened. Maybe? Oh no, there you are. Hello. Can we go back to the stadium? I swear I didn't plan this, guys. I swear I didn't plan this. Well, um... That was fun, you know? It actually was a lot of fun, though. Aside from, like, this, it, it like, awesome stuff. Loved it. Another thing I truly enjoyed about this game was all the similarities it had to others. I could eat three foods separate to one another and then each one would give me a buff. My only gripe was content. I wanted bigger, scarier, worldly creatures. Off on another adventure while flying in squirrel mode, <laughs> this one had me looking for some new catacombs. Instead, I had to deal with a bunch of bullies first. Uh, hi ma'am? Oh god. You good? Scavenger, Gorger. Oh, this is the one I was supposed to get. All right, let me just stand right here and hit your arm. Yeah. The Queen's Catacombs. Improved grappling hook at the Carpenter. Ooh. What do we get? Shepherd. Ooh. An even better one, I think. Making my way to this entrance, I found myself fighting more undead folk. Is there someone behind me? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Critical hit. Throwing more fireballs at this flying ghoul and then trying to deal with secrets above. With a little trip back to my base, the rested buff would go such a long way. I took note about this cool shield for mages the smithy had, which confused me that the smithy had this, but then I traveled back towards the catacombs. The puzzles inside this place were easy enough, but I was really kicking myself for this. Oh, it's right. Are you kidding me? Ooh, Pike Mead's Bulwark. Parry, power, max durability, and 25 health. Dude, I'm, I'm just going to use that. That sounds awesome. As much time as I did spend on one little puzzle, I found myself in new shrouded lands. Out of the shrouded. And these trees are gorgeous. Oh my god, there's also fire plants. This new place was beautiful, and with each new area, things from trees to enemies and even dungeons would change. Good luck. Thanks, man. Oh, I made it. I made it. I made it. I'm best. I'm best. I'm best. I'm best. Boo, 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 boo. Ow. Ow. Killed him. Look at that. Bam. Having exactly what I needed, it was time to take a trip back to base. We're going to need chamomile. Oh, my God. Wisp of light. Flask of fell. Yo, that's cool. Wisp of this. That's awesome. Uh, whoa! Finally! 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 Oh my god! They're giving you more sets now. Oh. So, indigo plants, linen, torn cloth, and amber. So, these are like the mage clothes. 
Having a look at what was next, if I wanted to upgrade my level to the flame altar, I needed a few more items. <gasps> we can do it. Ooh, look at that. Level three flame. Marking my next location, I was about to become terrified here at nighttime. Something I didn't work on as much was my armor. New threads were waiting for me, and that meant I needed a few more resources to go. One location near the spire tower full of luscious flowers, strawberries, and so many boars. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woo, there's a lot of them. Where are you going now, guys? Huh? Don't worry, I got you, buddy. You're not going anywhere. Stay right there. Just like in Valheim, Enshrouded slowly taught me how similar the two were. Wait, can we even mine that though? Oh, we can and we did! Ooh. Well, copper's all over here. Alright, I'm gonna get to mining everything I can. Most of what I did the next couple of days was looking for flax. The type of flowers would eventually give me linen and that was super important if I wanted to craft better equipment. The lands were full of it but they didn't respond too often. Truth be told, I could have easily built a farm and had my own source of it going, but that would come much, much later. What are we uh, protecting here, guys? Huh? What's inside here? Got some goodies for me? No, 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 no. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Oh, oh I'm running out of stamina too. That's a first. Oh, wow. Where was I even? I don't even know where I was. For the same upgrade to my flame altar back at base, this exact location was about to give me the one thing I needed. I wasn't quite finished with the scavenger camp though. They had plenty of bad guys giving out free XP. Oh, 466 damage. The friggin fireball. Ooh, I kind of want to try that on this big lady. 246, not bad, not bad at all. And it's not even the weakness, like it's... There, we got him, all right. Not as hard as I thought, which is great. What I needed now was some squirrel upgrades. Oh, so it's the linen that's gonna be a lot. That looks sick, oh, I like that. I had no idea what to expect in this next dungeon. Ooh, that's a big guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? Hello? All right, here we go. Oh, this man just killed his friend. I don't know what you're doing, buddy. Oh, it looks like the fire is better, too. Okay. Ooh, there we go. Oh, I got a wizard hat. Oh, I'm a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Wait, where's my top of... You cut off the, the tip. Oh, the tip is the best part. Oh. The tip is literally the best part of that wizard hat, man. Oh, God. Having a new ring was cool, and it did give me more time to spend in the shrouded, but I needed something different. Well, whatever is like next progression is here because there's the red smog again. I have to try to not die, but also find a way in. This is Pike's port. Oh, actually, maybe we can get in from the port side here. This place was anything but safe. It had threats around every corner. Oh, we got the checkpoint. Nice. Okay, let me try to kill him. better at that it's awesome all right we got some wizard pants dude i don't even need to like build wizard stuff because we are just literally getting the wizard of everything climbing up the side of this broken down castle there was no way a boss fight wasn't about to happen right i don't know oh what oh my god yo look at you buddy Woo! whoa well, we're gonna die okay whoa 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 This is everything? Oh, wait, 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 what if it, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chain lightning, oh god. 
something. Save my stamina. What, 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 what? Dude. If I had more potions, I could do this. Yeah, if I had more potions. Okay. We gotta just make tons of potions. What I soon realized was how annoying the to and from was about to become. So instead, I made a safer travel point for myself. If there was something I did need, it was potions. Most of what I used in that first fight, I may have spent all of it. Now, I could have gone the route of farming flowers, all the honey I needed and all that good stuff. But the next best thing was searching big towers. The big towers themselves gave a lot of pots and jars, and they would drop quite a few potions. This here, lady and gents, this is what I called round two. Oh, you kidding me, mother... God damn it. Oh. It's also that time in the video, and if you made it this far, comment, hop it down below. Looks are buff. Let's go, baby. Can I collect you though? 30% mana. <gasps> You're giving me health. Oh, I'll take the health. The biggest fight yet, and I finally killed the baddie. More than that, but I picked up a key to the castle itself. Yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm not even magic, but I'm putting that on. I mean, I'm not even this, but I'm. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at me. Dude, I look sick. What? Hold on, I didn't even see what that was. Now I was jumping into a new day, quite literally. I found my way into another camp, looking for that juicy gorger. Looking to clear more of my map, this was about to get pretty scary. Watching points of interest slowly get checked off the map felt great. My OCD was being fed and so was this game. It slowly became a thing of overpowered until next area. Even the elixir wells themselves started to become very easy to clear. Still in need of just a few more resources, the next build was about to help further my progress. If there was something that would help me, it was building these bad boys. Lucky for me with copper in need, I had just the place for it. Outside the tower's range and located near a copper mine shaft. If there was something I absolutely adored about this game was the magic chests. No mod, just pure vanilla. And Shrouded got it right and doubled down on the idea. Can you guess who still needed more flax? Plants and just things to craft better armor? This guy here with two and a half thumbs. Unsure of where I was going next, the place I had in mind was the desert. No idea what awaited me, but I was curious. What I found next left me a little speechless. The biggest thing I had to do today was find my stuff and try my best not to die. This was definitely one of the better towers with the stuff I found inside. A big part of me totally expected myself to die here. With the new location in mind and looking to build a bigger, better, and much more rewarding base, I needed to scout out a new area and find a better location. The first thing that came to mind was the mountain. The higher up the location, the cooler ideas I would have to build with. Hopefully it's not anything bad down here. Because I'm, I'm kind of like, ooh, I'm getting a bad feeling this is really deep. Okay, it is really deep. <gasps> oh, so deep. Whoa. Whoa. Too deep. Oh, wait, what? 
Today I would take a new approach to this mountain. There was a different angle I could tackle and the side of the mountain gave me a few more spots to jump up easily. Thankfully with just a bit of mining and not slipping off because my feet were made of butter, I swear to god, I finally made it atop the mountain. Albeit a few close calls, but overall this was the easiest way to go about it. With what I envisioned, it slowly started coming too. This was about to be something special. A big castle that made its way from top to bottom, giving myself lots of room and a giant staircase that would spiral through the center. Would I build everything during this playthrough? Not really, but I'd have at least a start. At this point, all I knew was how much digging this would actually take. There was a lot, okay? Between that though, apparently tools could get an upgrade or two as well. With a different tool in hand this time, figuring out how this tool actually worked finally saved me so much time and honestly gave me a little bit of hope again. Not gonna lie. But being able to build out more of the bottom floor here, I continued flattening out the ground. Again, I don't know why I wanted to do this, but being the builder that I was, this new base location meant a lot to me. No ifs or ands, but there were a lot of buts. For a while here, it seemed as if digging would never stop. Finally got a hold on it and started building out the rest of my floor. This beautiful B word looked great and the view I had was next to none. Funny enough though, if I wanted to continue building out, I did need more stone. A little ironic, but with more build pieces coming in, I was so close to finishing up this thing. The last thing I did for the night was placing some pillars down and seeing what would take. I was hoping for a little archway that would give a good vibe sort of feel. The vision I had was done, or at least the beginning. With that said, I still needed some more flax. Those blue flowers scattered all throughout the map. Sadly, they came in bunches of two or three and they didn't respond again. If I, what? I really need to start planting these. I'll do it when I get enough resources going. At this point in the game, I needed a break. No more digging, no more mining, just straight up exploring and fun times. But this is, this is the furthest I've traveled into. This is the desert. This is a dangerous territory, dangerous land where I leveled up like five times because I freaking awesome over here i can't build any further um like out which i need to if i want to continue this base uh because it's only a level one so i have to kind of farm and get more resources and stuff this took forever because this was a mountain i dug the mountain down right now it's kind of like inside looks better obviously outside is more of a, a box but what i have planned is like i'm gonna be digging this entire like mountain out um or at least the insides of it so i can continue my base but it's going to go down. There's going to be a staircase going to each floor. The top is like the, the flame thing. I'm going to kind of build out like this. I'm going to build a like a porch thing on the mountaintop. So it's like you have this beautiful view. There's going to be like a fountain down there. Oh, I have ideas. As it were, I still had to move everything from my startup base to what was currently set up. Masonry tools were definitely a nice upgrade, but now I needed the smithing tools. Hi, 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 hi. All right, what do you guys want? Uh, do, 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 do. Tanning session. Hunter glove. Belt Cora. Um, all right, we just gotta fly down into that pit of despair. Man, just, oh, look at all that stamina. <laughs> so much. Oh, this is the other one. Smithing tools now. Nice. Nice. All right. Uh, ooh. Magic critical strike chance, critical strike damage. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I like it a lot. Ooh, shocking ice wand. Hold on. Finally. Um, wait. Making sure. We have an apprentice wand. Look at this. Literally, shocking ice wand. A full on. Oh, man, that looks so good. Oh, it's shocking and ice? I just realized two elements in one. Ooh, look at the little effects happening, the little particles stuff. This is all new to me. This is awesome. What I didn't expect to find or even think to look for was the next boss. I just aimlessly wandered into this area. But oh, hello. That's that's a monstrosity for sure. Oh my god. Fireball it is. Wait, actually, Fireball would be sick here. He's doing a big one. He's doing a big one. I don't like that one. Uh, I need heal. Ooh, we're getting some doubles. Ooh. There we go. Double, 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 double. I have to kill this thing really quickly. Like, right now, please. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you just dead or are you going to explode? I gotta destroy that thing or I'm going to die. Oh, I got something cool. Hold on. We gotta 
There we go. Oh, that was close. <laughs> really close. Ooh, transcendental. The upgrade started to become harder and harder for my flame altar. I needed things it asked for and to farm that I didn't even hear of at the time. Thankfully, anytime an upgrade was needed, most of the new items ended up being in the previous world unlocked. With the last few chests moved from base to base, it felt like I could finally enjoy the game at a place that felt far superior than my little confused hut. That was the last one. Now we can straight up just craft from here. Black collagen would be the perfect fit for an alchemy station. This is essential. Okay, do we have everything for that? Looks really cool. Wish I could get some mage scent. I don't know. One more, one more, one more. Here we go. Yeah. Finally. Big backpack, me buddy. Oh, look at that. Look at that. My curiosity definitely got the better part of me here. Wanting to see what the new lands had and what other stuff I could get. Scary-esque. Oh, threats nearby. I know. Oh, we're going up. I didn't even know I was going up here, buddy. <laughs> Ooh. No, no. Try it again. Yeah. Give me something good. Ooh, that one sounds even better. Silver Storm. So it's ice, but more shock. Something I didn't even realize with all the new locations I would come to see and find. I didn't realize how fast I was actually leveling up. There's scorpions in this game? No way. Really? Hey, level 20. Poison sack. Hold on. I got to wait until that disappears. Um, Scales. Okay. Saffron. Oh, damn. Yeah, we're really in do, uh, new lands. Oh, this is awesome. Everything I would need was in this exact area. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'll go away. 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 All right, we're flying down. Oh, <gasps> that's... Seeing this new and what seemed to be abandoned castle was not so abandoned. Like real, like really. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Of course, knowing me, I'd panic way too much here. Finally back topside, which did take a good amount of time, mind you. I had a little bit of daylight left to find some juicy, juicy treasure. Tired of traveling back to my first base for a rested buff, I just threw together a quick little build that would do the job. It wasn't supposed to look pretty, okay? This was exactly why I wanted to get into the next area. There were so many new and awesome looking things to explore. Whoa, wait, there's a lot of plants down here. Oh, okay, is there going to be like stuff that kills me too? Going. Saffron. Some grapple seed thing. More saffron. A lot more saffron. I don't know what it's for, but I'm gonna take it anyway. Hi. What are you? Level 21. Grilled Sand Digger. Okay. Oh, maybe I could go to that one. Never. Oh, no. There's red smoke everywhere. Oh. And I do not have any stone. It's all sandstone. Damn it. There was no way to really explain this next part than to just show you. Ooh, magician set. Corn cloth, mint mushroom. 90 health, 72. Yo! We would look sick with this. I need leather and linen. And then, well, torn cloth, mint. Okay, so the mint mushroom meat's easy to get, but the linen, linen and leather. I'm going to save you the pain of me still looking for the magical spot with all the plants I needed. This game wanted the player, me, to build farms. Personally, I wish I did this sooner because of how helpful it actually was and how easy it was to get hundreds and hundreds of flowers. I need water and one flax and it makes 10? Holy crap, that's amazing. That's actually amazing, amazing, amazing. Uh, I don't think I really needed this many, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't care. All right, in five or so minutes, we'll have all these done. We'll have like tons, we'll have tons going. The way that farming worked in this game, like most, you would plant seeds down and wait a few days for them to blossom. Thankfully, Enshrouded made it so much easier and there was no tilling of the land for suitable plants to be planted down. You just picked up a seed, we found some grass to plant and that was it. With another day of hard work, this was the outcome of that. We got some more of these. I definitely took more of what I had here with my... Do I have any more in here? 
So the flax that we got, I actually took more and made more of these. So we can get more water constantly. Didn't have to worry because I only had the one. So I wasn't <laughs> really getting much. But also, let me show you how I... Oh, it took a while. Not really. It didn't and didn't. It was just like a little process that took tedious amounts of time. In the sense of it was just it just dragged on. But let me show you what I did with my flax. And how I got the unlimited flax. It's beautiful. Look at this. All of this is going to become flax in a day. I planted this myself. It's great. It's so good. And planting in this game is actually so much easier in, than uh, Valheim. Just because you don't need to till the land or anything. You literally just plant wherever there is grass. That's it. Something else I made sure to do was finally craft up some new armor. Look at this guy. Well, guess what? Guess who has the armor now? I had enough flax to make what I needed and I had fossils. So we had just enough for that too. So we are going to equip all of this, which is all better. I already tested it. It looks so sick. <laughs> Look at that. We, a, we are a full on mage now. No more fledgling. No more nothing. We are a full mage that looks this dope, dude. Oh, the cape is so nice. It's a little metallic. So it has that nice shine to it. And it, it does flow nicely. Like it feels good. And then the hat. The hat's always something I've wanted. Just a nice wizard hat. Oh, it looks so good. And then the, the wand, this, this other wand, the little, it's literally like a lightning bolts, cold wand. And then we have the staff. Being the real mage that I was, the next area was opened for the taking. Hello, little or big one. Okay, I really should have known that. And you get my kill. Wow, what a douche. With all the wells that I had, the last thing I needed was potions. Some extra nodes of tin inside the shrouded lands and glands picked up from those big red crab looking creatures. All I needed now were some fossilized bones. Besides a few new creatures and a little locked up outpost, my first find would be some of the craziest stuff yet. Whoa, wait, 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 what is this? I just realized. Hold on. Unless it's nothing, unless it's just like regular. <gasps> Whoa, sage tunic, look at, look at, look. We got lapis, oh my God. Oh, I'm getting a bunch of this. Lamp at Carpenter. I'm so getting a bunch of this. Lapis lazuli. Oh my god, this is Minecraft. What is happening? If only these were fast travel points. They are not, and it's nighttime, so I'm not sticking around. There's no way. Oh, <gasps> we got Archmage, which is padding, yellow fabric. Obviously, going to be some tougher stuff to get, which is. Ooh, <laughs> all of this stuff. You see this? Wait, 120 mana. Oh, timeout reduction. And then we have the Warlock Helmet. I might go for the, oh, but Sage. Sage is like the healing, supportive. Oh my God. Oh, there's so many sets. The helmets, like these things are, is what's like, oh, this looks awesome. Hey, look at this guys, fully blossomed. You haven't seen it yet, fully blossomed, but look at this. I thought might as well, you know, make it look nice out here if we need linen ever. Won't have to go searching again. <laughs> Oh, yeah, planting in this game is just so much easier to deal with. Since the new lands of this place was filled exactly with what I wanted and needed, there was no better reason than to build yet another flame altar here. Distance, I kill you, level 23. This would give me as much time needed to explore more of the city. All right, shield of light. What the fudge? Yeah, we're getting into like real end game territory. night it's a cool thing i wish i got armor instead though i mean uh uh like weapons or something it's because those go so much long like further here we go please weapon 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 oh my god that's a beautiful weapon i gotta see what that's like oh <gasps> it's a one-handed too look at this thing Ooh, that's beautiful that actually kind of fits my thing too it's all of my thing. My, oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. 
Oh, I just noticed this. Uh, the walls are alive. No, not the walls. Might have to go back up, depending on how weird or big and crazy this is. This is going to get crazy, isn't it? Oh my god, yeah. I'm going to go back up. I'm going to go back up. I need a rested buff, and I need to have my full thing. Oh, this is definitely it. The Haunted Sun Temple. Okay. So it's a fight. A big old fight. Oh, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho. There's something. Oh, never mind. Ow. Ineffective. Wait, hold on. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, that was close. Ow. Whoa! Wait, oh, we can just use this. Good, 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 good. Where's he going? You guys, you see where he went? If there was something that truly annoyed me, it was not fully utilizing of what was around me or taking cover when I really should have. Okay, well that little not great names I want to say so badly is dead. Good for you, never come back to life, you are. With my final tower ahead, this one looking to be the end of all games, I found a new wand that would come in handy, making my way to the top of this new tower. This was 100 days in and shrouded, and I couldn't have been more happier to have finally finished this video. I felt such an accomplishment, but more importantly, so much gratitude towards everyone here. I wouldn't be where I am today if not for each and every single individual person. From all of the love throughout the videos and to the support and comments, just thank you. Thank you from me to you. That said, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and check out this video right here. This is Ray Pandas signing out. Bye guys. Bye everybody.